What is the origin of an object? Maybe we can, from its birth, deduct the qualities that exist in the purest of spirits. The singularity before the Big Bang can be described in its uniformity. It contained all, which could be surmised to one point. However, when the inconceivable and unproven concept was ejected, this perfection started to dissipate. In the scattering of atoms, protons, neurons, electrons, dark matter, force, chemicals were formed, and with it metals and elements. They too could be said to be definitely defined. Furthering in the evolution of transformative atomic structures, new materials are formed. With the use of nomenclature, these also have the ability to be an ideal universal. The problem arises in the fact that these have to have an additional definition in their shape, for they cannot exist in a pure atomic form. When these materials and shapes are further combined, we get lost completely in combined nomenclature, which in turn creates even further definitions in order to simplify our reality to the extent that our limited capability of conceivability is able to comprehend that which is. Splitting, merging and forming are the fundamentals of human creation as described by Jacob Bronowski. The same could be said for the elemental creation of elements on Mendeleev's table.